ID OD 5 inch 1 inch, 16 mm, tube wall, STC, HDC. What does all of this mean? Have no fear, Attila is here. Now it's time to dive a bit deeper and talk about choosing the right parts for your liquid cooling loop. We will kick things off with fittings and tubing and talk about all of the markings that are used to differentiate them. Tubing connects to the components of a liquid cooling loop, while the fittings are used to connect the tubing to the components. Simple enough, right? But things might get a bit more complicated when it's time to choose the right fittings and tubing. There are many options and it's important to choose the right ones to avoid any incompatibility issues. Before we get into the specifics, let's learn how to read fittings and tubing dimensions. Dimensions are provided in metric or imperial units, although nowadays the entire market is leaning more towards metric. For example, the most common soft tubing is marked with two numbers. The first number reveals the inner diameter or ID and the second the outer diameter or OD. Please note that the dimensions of the tubing and fittings that you are using should always match precisely. Although old school bar fittings are still used where aesthetics are not important, the market today is dominated by compression fittings. They are split into two main categories, soft tubing compression fittings and hard tubing compression fittings. They are called compression fittings because their locking ring compresses the tube or the o-ring in hard tubing versions, creating an airtight seal. Not that seal. As their name clearly states, soft tubing compression fittings are used in combination with soft tubing. They are mostly the choice of those just starting out or users who care more about performance and functionality than aesthetics. Keep in mind that both inner and outer diameter of the tubing must be matched to the fitting. Hard tubing fittings can only be used with hard tubing. They only use one dimension marking and this number should match the outer diameter of the tube. Hard tubing is more challenging for users, but nowadays with perfectly designed distro plates and the EK Matrix 7 concept, building liquid cooling loops with hard tubing is becoming a breeze. Soft tubing is flexible as it is usually made from neoprene, rubber, silicone or PVC. This makes it easy to cut the length and to work with. On the other hand, literally the other hand, hard tubes are made from non-flexible materials, but some of them can be still bent by using special tools. More experienced custom loop builders usually bend their own tubes, but pre-bent tubes are also available. So, soft or hard tubing? Hard tubing is usually chosen for its exclusive materials such as acrylic, brass, copper or carbon fiber and it brings clean, well-organized aesthetics. You can also choose between clear and colored tubing, available with both soft and hard tubing. However, the option of clear tubing is much more popular as it allows the user to display their colorful coolants that can add some additional flair to the PC. It's very important to know that choosing thicker tubes or bigger fittings will not result in greater flow rates or better performance. All connections on mainstream liquid cooling parts use the G1 quarter thread, which, depending on the fitting used, has a cross section of 9 to 10 millimeters. Meaning, even if you choose thicker tubes, at the end of the tube, the fitting will narrow the flow down. If you require greater flow rates, choose a more powerful pump. Installing all the components of a custom loop liquid cooling system into the case can be tricky sometimes. But have no fear, special fittings and connectors are available to make the process easier. There are angled adapters, rotary extenders, offset fittings and much much more that will help you during the process. As we mentioned earlier, the EK Matrix 7 is also here to make things much easier for everyone and ensure that products fit together 
perfectly. Custom loop building can be an art, hence the slogan of our quantum line, the art of PC modding. And you can be an artist too, combining all the tubing and fitting options into unique builds, like Ben is doing from Mods by Ben. Now you know how to pick the right fittings and tubing for your build. We look forward to seeing your awesome creations. If you like this kind of content, subscribe and until next time, take care.